<clears throat> well, it's a late one. It's Friday night. Just had a bloody coffin fit there. <clears throat> I am definitely COVID free though. I assure you that. Still not 100%. Get gets you, doesn't it? Get you. I feel tired. I've had a long week. Looking forward to a good night's sleep before the match tomorrow. But... Just finished watching Brazil get beat. Brazil's been beaten in the, in the World Cup. Argentina's been beaten in the World Cup. Then we've got France have been beaten in the World Cup, even though they've made nine changes. It's a strange old World Cup. But at this moment in time, I do kind of fancy France, Brazil, you know, France, Argentina, and possibly England. You never know. England, unbeaten in the World Cup. Could we go all the way this time? Team news for tomorrow. I am led to believe this is the team that will start tomorrow. And I always like to keep the subscribers up to date with what's going on. So, three changes from against Birmingham. <clears throat> led to believe Gooch will be coming back in, which means Hume's dropped. Alessi, AJ is coming back in, which is no Huggins. And 09 is replacing Bailey Wright. So, that's the team. Three changes in defence. Evans and Neil, Ahmad, Pritchard, Clark, Sims, 4 2 3 1. I'm led to believe no sign of Stewart. I do not know if he's available on the bench. We'll find out tomorrow. What's your thoughts on that team? Are you happy with that team? Do you think we can beat Millwall tomorrow? Millwall are in a fine fellow, good team, good form. It feels strange. This is the only championship game the whole weekend tomorrow. I know. We see him catch up, but Millwall have played the same as Sunderland as well. So Millwall, this is Millwall's game in hand as well as Sunderland's game in hand. And if we can come away with something out of that game, at least a draw, I'd be over the moon. Or would I be over the moon? <clears throat> but it is what it is. And that's the team. What's your thoughts on the team? You think that team's good enough to beat Millwall? I don't know. I'm not sure. I hope so. Hope there'll be a massive crowd there tomorrow. A massive crowd. I know it's on Sky Sports. Will that detract a few people away from going to the game? I don't see why not. It's a Saturday afternoon, 12.30 kickoff. It's an early start. Again, I will be doing the vlog tomorrow. And, yeah, I just touch wood we can do well. So I thought I'd just give you a bit of team news. That's what, that's what I'm led to believe starting tomorrow. And hopefully we can get three points and do the business. Right, there you go. I'm off to bed now because I can say I'm absolutely shattered. I'm absolutely shattered. But World Cup. We play England, play Senegal. I did say I would do a preview. I did, didn't I? Yes, I did. I forgot all about that. Too busy watching the World Cup. Right, this can be the England versus Senegal preview. Leave your score predictions down below for England versus Senegal for the chance to win the shirt, the England away shirt, extra large shirt. So far, there's only one person who has one point going into this game. So leave your score predictions down below for England versus Senegal. I'm going to go for, it's a tough one, Senegal, these African teams are quite good. So Senegal, I'm going to go for, <clears throat> oh. I say 2-1 I say England, 2-1 England, and we'll have a Rashford brace. There we go. So leave your score predictions down below for the Senegal match. I will be doing either a live stream for that or we'll be doing some sort of match review. I'm not quite sure yet, it depends how I feel. But there we go, that's the team. Leave your team news to Senegal, take care, God bless, and enjoy your good night's sleep. I am going to look forward to having a good night's sleep. I've had a lie-in since last weekend. See you later.